So I took the family away on a lovely weekend to London, just before they go back to school. We saw some cool stuff. We went to see London Bridge. We did the Harry Potter tour. We even went to the Science Museum. But then there was a problem. We had all these devices. We had phones, we had tablets, we had game consoles, and we just didn't know which charger to take with us. I didn't want to take all the charges because, you know, the kids being kids, they're gonna leave that thing on a bus somewhere, on a train. We need so many charges. So I just wanted to take one or two charges that we could use to charge all our devices. But which one is it? This video will help you, guide you through the best charges to use and the different types between all the different charging types, QC and PD, for all your devices. Stay tuned for more. The advances in USB charger technology has been remarkable. We have, we have chargers that not only charge devices faster, but we also have them that charge smarter. Power delivery, or PD, and quick charge technologies, or QC, are the forefront of this evolution. Power delivery, or PD as it's also known, are chargers that deliver variable power levels adapted to each device's requirements to optimize charging speeds and efficiency. This means that your smartphone, tablet, or laptop gets the exact power it needs, reducing the risk of overcharging and overheating. Power delivery is very flexible, and therefore it's great for a variety of different devices. Its maximum power of 240 watts is especially useful for laptops and other power-hungry devices. Quick Charge is designed to speed up charging times considerably by allowing devices to charge at higher voltages and currents. This technology is particularly beneficial for those fast charging needs, ensuring you spend less time tethered to power outlets. Therefore, Quick Charge focuses on delivery fast charging speeds and primaries for Android devices, which, to be honest, is Qualcomm's Snapdragon's processor. So we've compared two chargers that we use ourselves and in the workshop, that would be the SunVision 100W USB-C charger and the Prevo 65W charger. Now, just for transparency, these have been purchased by ourselves, they haven't been supplied by the manufacturers, and they haven't sponsored this video whatsoever. Let's go and take a look at what each one of them can do. Let's first look at the SunVision 100W compact USB-C charger. Boasting a powerful 100W output, the charger is suitable for high demand devices such as laptops, tablets, as well as smartphones, ensuring fast and efficient charging. Equipped with three charge sockets, two USB-C and one USB-A, it uses Power Delivery version 3 and Quick Charge version 4. However, I need to point out that at the time of making this video, Quick Charge version 4 was not Qualcomm approved. Despite its high power, the charger features a sleek and compact design, making it easy to carry and ideal for travel or home use without taking up unnecessary space. Now let's look at the Prevo QC72 65W charger. It offers a 65W output, ideal for charging a range of devices from laptops to smartphones with efficiency and speed. Equipped with dual charging technologies, power delivery version 3 and quick charge version 3, it provides an adaptable charging for diverse power requirements. It has one USB-C and one USB-A port, which means you can charge up to two devices at any one time. Its compact design is perfect for traveling as well as home use, and you can find that its compatibility with a broad spectrum of USB-C devices on major brands and models. So here's some quick tips that we recommend when you're looking for your next charger. When choosing the charger, make sure you take compatibility of your devices into consideration. By doing so, you will get the optimum time in your charging, but also at the same time, prolong the life of your batteries. Take into account all your device's power requirements. By doing so, you can get the right charger that will handle the higher range as well as the lower range. If you've got lots of smartphones, for example, you could get away with just having, say, a 65 watt charger. But if you've got a lot of smartphones and, say, a laptop or a tablet that needs higher wattage, then you might consider getting, say, something like a 100 watt. Make sure it's power delivery as well as quick charge compatible. By doing so, it means that you've got the greater chance of being supported on all those different devices. So there you go. There's our top tips on getting the right charger in 2024. Hopefully you liked the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.